Hi everyone, News 8 meteorologist Leanne Beyer here, and today we are here to talk about what exactly the heat index is. So sometimes you'll be heading out the door and you'll hear your meteorologist say, oh, we're going to have highs in the 80s, but the feel like temperature is a little bit warmer. Or sometimes when we're introducing our weather segment for that hour of the show, we have something that gives our current conditions and we have the actual air temperature as well as the feel like temperature. So those can be very common sometimes they're the same value but on days where our relative humidity is a lot warmer or a lot higher in percentage than others we could get a really really muggy heat index and that's the temperature that our body perceives the temperature as so even though your thermometer might say let's say 88 degrees it could feel a lot warmer so this is just a very loose example this is not current conditions for Rochester at all whatsoever so I just want to clarify that so the yellow line marks let's just say the example of the temperature so I'm going to go ahead and advance and it could be that is what the feel like temperature is or the heat index so depending on how high your relative humidity is for that day is going to be how you find the heat index so you just want to compare either you want to compare the actual air temperature with the dew point or relative humidity for that day and that's what's going to give you your heat index so it's also something important to remember when we talk about these heat alerts so these are not currently in effect this is another example so it's something important to remember as well for when sometimes we get those alerts so sometimes we have to be careful so currently for a heat advisory to be in effect, we had these in effect, I want to say in June, when we had four consecutive days of 90 degree plus temperatures here in Rochester, that was our heat wave. So in order for these to be in effect, they the maximum heat index is expected to be 95 degrees or higher for at least three consecutive hours now as we head on to the next one the excessive heat watches which i think a few of them may have been uh might have been issued during our heat wave back in june so these are when maximum heat indexes may possibly reach the 100 de 105 degree mark or higher for at least three hours within the next 24 to 72 hours. So a lot of what's going on in the west part of the country right now is a lot of these states are currently under these excessive heat watches as well as warnings. So the last one that we're going to talk about is the excessive heat warning, which is that bright pink when you go to the National Weather Service page and you see all of these pink alerts issued right now it's really concentrated in the southwest near parts of california arizona nevada places in texas sometimes get these it is not uncommon for them down there to maybe see these sometimes but up here in the northeast it's a little bit harder and a lot more rare if we ever saw one of these so excessive few warnings essentially the same thing as a watch however the hours that it is going to be within is a lot shorter and it's going to be within the next 12 hours. So that's something to keep in mind when doing that. I hope you learned something new today and of course if any of you guys have any questions at all feel free to email me and I will go ahead and explain it to you guys because these are a lot of fun to do and sometimes you know certain people have certain concerns or maybe just have a question and I would love to explain it to you guys so until next time